First, you need to move yourself. Use the directional button. Press up to advance, down to go back, and left or right to turn. Press the circle button to jump. Now you try. Your attention please. This is an emergency evacuation order. Meganite launch imminent. Please clear the premises and the road surrounding the Civilization Preservation Foundation within 30 seconds. I repeat, Meganite launch imminent. Please clear the area within 30 seconds. No one is permitted on the Foundation's premises and surrounding roads. The select button switches controls between the hero and the Mega Knight. Press the select button to switch con Press the select Start by learning how to walk. The R1 and R2 buttons control the right foot. Press the R1 button to step forward. Release it to set the right foot down. The right foot moves forward while the R1 button is pressed. The L1 button controls the left foot's forward movement. Press the R1 and L1 buttons alternately to make the Mega Knight walk. Now you try. Try backing up. The R2 button moves the right foot backwards. Press the R2 button to step back. Release it to set the right foot down. In exactly the same way, the L2 button moves the left foot backwards. Now you try. Next, try changing direction. Press and hold the R1 and R2 buttons at the same time to turn right. Likewise, press and hold the L1 and L2 buttons at the same time to turn left. Now you try. Good. The Mega Knight can change directions while walking. You should practice making turns while it's moving. Next, the arms. The right analog stick is for the right arm. Tip it up and throw a right punch. Likewise, the left analog stick controls the left arm. Tip the left analog stick up to throw a punch with the left arm. Now you try. We bring you a live report from Senjo. Dantarion 2 has entered the city. The enormous creature is now wreaking havoc unimpeded through the city streets. The self-defense force, whose sworn duty it is to protect the populace, has been reduced to a shadow of its former self. There appears to be nothing that can halt the rampaging Dantarion 2. What we are witnessing could very well be the end of humankind. Dantarian approaching. Range, one kilometer. The enemy is drawing near. We'd best hurry with your training. The right analog stick fully controls the right arm. Tip the right analog stick down to swing the right arm back. Tip it to the right to swing the right arm to the right. Basically, the right arm moves with the right analog stick. Now you try. Mm -hmm. 
Next, try a powerful punch. Tip the right analog stick down, then tip it up. That triggers a powerful right straight. The left arm can also do this. Tip the left analog stick down, then tip it up. Now you try. Next, a hook. Tip the right analog stick to the right, then rotate it up. In other words, make a 90 degree arc. Now you try. Lastly, the directional button controls the Mega Knight's upper body. Press left or right to make the upper body turn. And up or down to tilt it. Try it. Enough! The enemy is coming! It's time you demonstrated Vavel's power! Don't forget, the select button switches controls between the hero and the Mega Knight. Try to position yourself in a location where it's easy to control the Mega Knight. the Grand Charge Attack Assault Knuckle. Hold down the R1 and L1 buttons at the same time to Grand Charge. Then tip the right analog stick up to fire the Assault Knuckle.
weapons and controls well enough to advance to the real thing. However, I've also prepared the advanced heavy arms training. I suggest you give it a try if you wish to hone your skills. The JSDF's 12th Airborne Unit has engaged the Volgara. I hope they can hold out until you're done with training. Well, let's get on with it then. I'll fill you in on your Mega Knight's heavy arms. First, the basic armaments. Press the triangle button to fire your Mega Knight's beam weapon. Bavel fires the Haken laser. Now you try. Beam weapons consume energy. If there isn't enough energy, they can't be fired. However, even if you do have sufficient energy, watch that you don't waste it. After all, you need a lot of energy for grand charge attacks. Next, ordnance weapons. They are fired using the circle button. Vavel fires Vavel missiles. Now you try. Ordnance weapons can be fired any time, and they are powerful. But keep in mind that they are limited in quantity. Once you fire the loaded supply, that's it. Confirm how many shots you have left on the screen. Your Mega Knight can be modified to increase the ordnance capacity. Next, the arm weapons, which are housed within the arms themselves. Pressing the R3 button deploys the right arm weapon. You try! In general, the right arm weapon is for physical combat. When it's deployed, the right arm's punching power is enhanced. However, it drains energy while it is deployed. Stow it when it's not needed. Pressing the R3 button again stores the right arm weapon. You try! Next, pressing the L3 button deploys the left arm weapon. You try! The left arm weapon launches a projectile. Bavel's left arm weapon is the Pyro Burner. Tip the left analog stick to shoot a stream of 100,000 degree fire. Good! However, it reduces the left arm's punching power. Use it only when it's necessary. Press it. It appears that we must hurry. Fine, we'll move on to grand charge attacks. Press the R1 and L1 buttons simultaneously. The Mega Knight will strike a pose. 
That pose is called a grand charge. Now you try. Initiating a grand charge is extremely important to prepare for a powerful attack. During a grand charge, the alchemic life output is maximized for attack. All robots, even the Vulgara, must do a grand charge before a powerful attack. First, grand charge, then press the triangle button. Bavel's grand charge attack is the lava stream. Try it. A Grand Charge attack is extremely powerful. However, it consumes so much energy, it can't be used early in battle. Another thing, press the triangle button after a Grand Charge for a powerful beam attack. Likewise, press the circle button after a grand charge for a special physical attack. However, special physical attacks require research and development funding. We still have some time to spare, so let's move on to how to make the Mega Knight jump. In order to jump, the Mega Knight must squat first. Hold down the R2 and L2 buttons simultaneously to squat. Go ahead. the art go make the mega knight squad again you can change the The government has asked for our support. The JSDF has been wiped out. It's showtime! Oh, there's something else I should tell you. You'll be more effective in battle if you can make the Mega Knight change direction while it's in motion. Practice doing so. The Volgara is preparing to Phantom Teleport. Calculating Phantom Out coordinates. 
It's going to phantom out in this area. It's time you demonstrated the Mega Knight's power!
Hello, we bring you breaking news. It's... It's just... just beyond belief. Rome is reportedly under attack by a gigantic humanoid weapon. It is said to have suddenly appeared and begun attacking indiscriminately. Damage is estimated to be catastrophic. We will bring you more information as soon as we receive any updates. Oh! We've made connection. We've got a live feed from the disaster scene. The city is under attack by a towering humanoid weapon, which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The weapon appears to be attacking indiscriminately. The city is burning. It's... it's unbelievable. It's like something from out of a movie. Oh! Something shot out of it. It... it blew a building apart. It's simply incredible. The Eternal City is fast becoming a blazing ruin. This isn't a movie. This is real. This is reality. To hurry here. I might be late meeting up. The platform is up past the wickets. You're late! I'm sorry, I slept in. Nanao, we've been friends since junior high. Don't worry about it. Anyway, thanks for joining me to shop. Let's catch the next train. Arriving on track one is a local train bound for Isenjo. Please stand back.
Attention, Miss Sukioka. Calling Miss Sukioka. Can you hear me, Miss Sukioka? What is going on? They're calling for you. Miss Sukioka, please come now. The Trillennium Committee needs your help. The Trillennium Committee? The committee has gone active. What are you talking about? What is the committee? The cause of Sukioka's bankruptcy. They've spent a fortune making scrap metal. What is this? What's going on? No, it can't be. The phantom effect? that a Volgara giant I didn't think it existed So she stayed in bed. Wait! You're not going to try running right by that robot, are you? I have to save my grandma. Okay. I'll go with you.
The city. Senjo is on fire. Crafted of Repton Carbonite Alloy. So that's a Volgara Giant. The predictions then were indeed correct. Dr. Arai! Chairman? What good timing! Observe! That is a Volgara! The one who can overcome the Nectar Barrier. We don't have time for that now. We have to take cover. Take cover? What are you saying? Isn't there something that you ought to be doing? Pardon? Why does the Trilinium Committee exist? What purpose does the Mega Knight serve? Are you saying the Mega Knight is... No! It can't be! It was all for what is happening today. This is the controller. Now go! Go to the committee! But... Get going! Hurry! Volgara! It seems shameful to destroy it! For you are the apex of evolution, the ultimate form of life. Dr. Arai! Why? <sighs> This is Mika Banhara, live from downtown Senjo. And an immeasurable devastation is unfolding here at the hands of an enormous humanoid weapon. It is firing what appear to be beams of massive destructive power. Because the weapon appeared with no warning, the public and the authorities appear to be in a total panic. It is a scene of unbelievable destruction and carnage. What you are seeing is not a movie. Already, numerous casualties have been reported. Ah, Chairman. You're just in time. Fine, then we will launch the well. Pardon? Wasn't it unfinished? Alchemic drive hasn't been tested. System ignition could be dangerous. You're still going to launch? If anything goes wrong, it will be a catastrophe. But while I would like to avoid unnecessary risk, Senjo is doomed if we don't act. Alchemic drive may go out of control and kill us or we die at the hands of the Valgara. We have no choice. Pray that it works. But the risk! What are you people saying? What is Favel? Alchemic drive ignition. Favel, prepare for launch.
What's happening? Vavel, Meganite Vavel. A turn for the worse. Senjo, already devastated by an enormous human weapon, has seen the appearance of another human weapon. Will Senjo be trampled by these two mechanical behemoths? The city's fate appears to grow dimmer than a candle in the wind. Chairman, can you hear me? Dr. Wiltz? The enemy's coming. What should I do? Fire the Harkin laser. Press the triangle button. What? Harkin laser didn't harm it? What armor? So this is Vargara's power. What should I do? Launch Vavel missiles. They are powerful, but few in number. Press the circle button. It vanished. It teleported to avoid attack? That must be Volgara's defense mechanism. The phantom system. Our attacks won't hit! Move in for hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Phantom System should not react to punches thrown at short range. The analog sticks are for punching. Tip one up to throw a punch. You should know... Tip... new development. The newly emerged humanoid weapon has challenged the rampaging robot. The two mechanical giants are locked in fierce battle. It's incredible! We can feel tremors from their violent clashes. Could this be the coming of the Armageddon? Enemy energy output down. We confirm the attack is effective. It's... I'll teach you up. Down the R.
Shortly after noon today, an enormous humanoid weapon landed on our soil. The enormous robot was the second to be seen after the Italian calamity. The unidentified robot attacked the city of Senjo indiscriminately. Numerous casualties have been reported. This second robot was challenged by a third humanoid robot. In a pitched battle, the third robot defeated the second robot. The intervention of the third robot saved Senjo from total annihilation. The victorious robot left Senjo, its present whereabouts are unknown. Damage to Senjo is extensive. The death total is expected to reach a thousand. The first humanoid weapon that destroyed Rome, Italy, is bound for the United Kingdom. The Royal Navy has sent out a task force to intercept the approaching threat. We've just received breaking news. A fourth humanoid weapon has appeared. Its location is Tokyo Bay. The latest humanoid weapon is headed for Tokyo. The government urges us all to remain calm. The Japan Self-Defense Force, JSDF, has already been deployed. It is marshalling its combined arms in Haromi, Tokyo. A major assault against the approaching robot is planned. Residents in the area have been advised to evacuate under official guidance. A Volgara giant appeared in Tokyo. The self-defense force appears to be struggling. They have appealed for our help. The armed forces wouldn't risk fighting if they weren't ready. Volgara's power must be overwhelming. That is news. Only the Trilenium Committee can take on the Volgara. That's why your father put all of his money into the upkeep of the committee. <sighs> we converted the Meganites to fight the Valgara. Even though the Meganites were never intended to be weapons. But we had no choice. It was all we could do to fight the Valgara. We all knew that. Your father too. I have to get up to Tokyo. What should I be doing? We've prepared a transport carrier for the Meganite. First, you need to get up onto Ravel's shoulder. We've equipped you with a gravity drive, a portable anti-gravity device. Hold down the circle button to activate the gravity drive and ascend into the air. Use of the gravity drive will reduce the gravity gauge in the lower left corner. If the gauge empties, the gravity drive will be deactivated. Wait for the gauge to refill. Use the gravity drive to ride on top of the Meganite. Good! 
You can walk freely atop the Meganite to wherever it's easiest to control. while you're on it. It's faster to ride, believe me. I'll try. This is live from Senken Corridor. The mysterious giant war machine that defeated the hostile humanoid weapon has reappeared. It is simply immense! It must be at least 40 meters tall! It has been rumored to be a self-defense force secret weapon. However, the authorities have denied any knowledge of it. What exactly is this massive machine? Good! A fast learner as always. Fine, make way to Tokyo. We'll use the transport carrier to take Vavel to Tokyo. Move Vavel to the carrier. We've just received word that the Vulgara landed in Tokyo. You need to get to Tokyo right away. appears to be traveling northbound towards Tokyo via Senken Corridor, while the city is once again under attack from a giant humanoid weapon. <laughs> 